we've got key inflation data that we're getting out this week. Tomorrow we've got the April Consumer Price Index. It is expected to stay elevated at 8.1 percent, but that would be below the March reading, which was 8.5 percent. The producer price index is another problem. That's coming out on Thursday. It's expected to be up 10.7 percent, Ryan, and, and that is pretty ugly there, but uh, it's actually better than what we saw in March, which was 11.7 percent. So I guess my question to you is, are we seeing these issues cut into profits uh, and uh, <laughs> getting what Stephanie Pomboy has been calling a uh, profit recession to come. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, look, profits are definitely going to come down, right? Because you start looking at comparables, it's impossible to compete with coming out of the pandemic. Um, you know, those first numbers are going to be your biggest growth numbers. So definitely profits growth is going to slow down. That's not a secret. But, you know, there's a difference between no growth and slow growth. And slow growth is pretty good. You know, markets only care if things are getting better or getting worse. So I think the bottom line here is, you know, look, inflation is going to start to come down. There's a good chance, like you just mentioned, we're going to see a lower print on that PPI number and the CPI number. Uh, so I think bottom line is if inflation starts to come down, um, which I think it will continue to do during the course of the year, wages stay high, um, which they probably will. Right. We have a labor shortage in the U.S. That's critical here. And consumers are still sitting with a lot of money on their balance sheet, whether it's like I mentioned it's a lot like two trillion dollars. So I think we have to think about here as an investor is sitting in cash is still going to be the worst place to be. Now, I realize we've had a big sell off here. You mentioned Peloton. And I remember a year ago, Dennis and I were joking about the fact that, you know, Peloton, I, I said it was like a glorified Nordic track. It was going to end up in your basement eventually. Um, and, you know, stocks like that are, are going to get have gotten crushed. Uh, they're probably not coming back anytime soon just because when you have no profits and when your multiples are too high, that's very problematic when you're going into a higher inflationary environment. But, you know, a lot of companies mm. out there have pricing power. And if you look at it historically, stocks are a great place to be when you have an inflationary environment because they, cr they produce cash flow. They can raise their prices and they can pass those dividends on to you as the shareholder. Um, so I, I do think this is, you know, still correction in an ongoing bull market. And Dennis, no matter for a bull bear market, you look dapper either way, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, but I think besides tech here, which is, is obviously where the real concentration of the selling is, everything else is a garden variety correction. Um, I think you've got to get your money invested here because I do think we are going to see a turnaround because profits are still going to be strong this year. and Markets eventually are going to go higher.